What's going on, on YouTube? Today we'll be reviewing the Great White GW12 Series DC Skimmer. Um, brought to you by Delua.com.au. So let's get into it, see how it is. First of all, let's get a quick look at it. She's a beauty. There she is there. Around. Good look there. So what's different about this skimmer over the AC skimmer? First thing uh, that they upgraded from the AC version we'll go over is uh, that is your air silencer, which is actually built into the neck. So you adjust that. So if you screw it in, that you know cuts down the air. If you screw it out, it's more air. Definitely an upgrade. This thing is super quiet, super silent. You can't even hear this thing running. Like I said, so you just got to look down underneath there sometimes and look and make sure you got bubbles going because that's how quiet this thing is. Um, you're going to adjust it, the water level the same way as the other one. You've got your plus or your minus. Your plus brings your water level down. Your minus brings your water level up. Um, you're going to want to set this thing in about, I have it in nine inches of water. It works perfectly there. So eight to nine inches is where you want this. Um, it comes also another upgrade that came with this. It has a 3D printed VCA Venturi. Um, man, that thing is awesome. It comes with the ZK SJ3000. Can't really see that in there, but um, it's, that's the DC motor it comes with. Um, they upgraded the thumb screws. You know, as I showed you on the other video, the thumb screws are a little small, so you have meaty hands a little harder, but you can still do them. But, yeah, they definitely uh, upgraded those to a bigger screw, a lot easier um, to take apart. Also, um, same thing here. This, they have the same uh, black hole ring, so when you adjust it, you push that black hole ring up, and it keeps the pipe from moving up and down. That way it keeps your constant water level. It doesn't change. Everything works um, the way it should at all times. Um, the other, there's not going to really tell you how to put it together, because if you go back to the AC version model, um, it kind of goes together the same way. It's not a huge difference in the way you know you put this thing together. Um, the collection cup is bigger than the other collection cup from the, the GW10 series. Uh, the difference in the collection cups is it does come with this longer hose. It comes with a shutoff valve. Um, this is the way I use it. You can it actually comes with a plug where you can plug that up. But I use it this way. That way I don't have to pull the skimmer off every every week. I'm doing my maintenance. Um, every other week I'll pull it off and clean it out, but you know, I'll just drain it. it just fills up a couple times a week. I just open it up into a bucket and drain it out uh, into that bucket and close it back up. Um, it sits differently than the other collection cup. So you set this collection cup down. There we go. It's that hard. Um, and you just twist. Twists right real easy and it comes together, it comes apart real easy. It's not like I uh, have an FC80, FC280 Aquamax. That's probably, man, I, I, guess I have to say that's probably my favorite skimmers before I start using these Lewis. But um, that thing, man, when you have to clean it, you gotta hold the neck real hard with one hand and you gotta really crank to get that. Uh, I mean, you're almost to where you think you're gonna break the handle pulling that thing apart to get it off. This one is real easy, real smooth. Uh, definitely like that. Another upgrade is, I mean, I, I like that. The, the logo that they put on top of there, the blue and the white, it goes with the whole blue and white theme of the skimmer. So it's, it's a beauty. It's an absolutely beautiful model. It's a plastic injected molded, just like the other ones. Um, but it's sturdy. It doesn't feel like a toy at all. Man, this thing is uh, works amazing. Like I said, I got it in nine inches of water. Um, you want it. Eight to nine inches. Um, they, I think it says you go up to ten, but eight to nine inches I find is where you want it, and that's where you're gonna get the best skimming out of the skimmer. Um, that's yeah, about eight in, eight to nine inches. Nine inches is where I have it, so it kind of depends on what you want to do with it. But uh, definitely eight to nine inches. Um, what else? To break it in again. If you want to break this thing in, uh, what I did, what I do with all my skimmers, is put about uh, ten parts. Vinegar, um, 15 parts water. I'll put it in a five gallon bucket um, and I'll let it run for an hour and then I'll 
take it out, I'll dump that water out, I'll put straight RO back in, I'll run it again for another half an hour to 45 minutes, um, clean out the vinegar, then I'll put it, then I'll run it on my system and you know, that is broke in. You really don't have to worry about the thing overflowing and going crazy for, you know, the breaking period, which is about two days because uh, I, I did that on a uh, AC system. It's about two days that it takes to break these in. But, um, yeah, this is just the way I do it with the vinegar water. You don't have to do it that way. Um, that's just my personal way of doing it. It works fine for me. Um, I just don't like to be down there messing with the foam and stuff coming over the top and all that. So that's the way I do it, but you don't have to do it that way. You could just plug it in, set it, let it do its work. Give it a couple days to break in, and then, you know, there you go. Set it to your desired level, and uh, that's it. Where I set the water, I bring the water to the top of the neck, to where the water is right at the top of the neck there, right? Um, when you look down in there, you can see that white rim. So that's where I bring the water, right there to the bottom of that white rim that's inside of there. And... Um, that seems to work fine for me. That's kind of where you want to bring your, your water level up and then let it start foaming up into the uh, collection cup. Um, looking at it, trying to think of any negatives that I can come up with this, then there's really, there's not a negative. I, I Honestly, I mean, I'm being honest with you guys, straight up, I can't find nothing wrong with it. Not at all. It's simply amazing. Um, I won't use another skimmer. Um, it's just sim simply an amazing skimmer. Um, for the price that you're going to pay for it, for how well it works, for the build quality, um, for as far as value skimmers, I wouldn't even call it a value skimmer. Uh, I'd put this thing right up there next to a, a, the Red Sea one. Uh, the Red Sea is made out of plastic, ingested, uh, plastic injected mold plastic, just like this one. Um, but this is a lot better price. The build quality is there. Um, the way it works is there. I just I can't give you guys a negative. I don't get paid by Delua, and I don't get paid by Unique Corals, which distributes all Delua products in the U.S. I, I don't get paid by them. Um, this is what I use. I use this on my system. I would pull it all apart now, but like I said, I got to put this thing back on my system. And I'll just... Yeah, that's it going right back on my system because I pulled it offline in order to bring this video got this video to y'all. So definitely, um, if you're in the market for a DC skimmer, uh, this uh, for a, a good price, the value you can get this at Delua.com.au. He had it on there for pre uh, pre release for sale on there where you could get it. I don't know how long it's going to take you to get it from uh, you know Australia where it's going to be shipping from. I believe because I don't think Unique Corals actually has these yet. So if, you, if they don't have them, you'd have to get it directly from, you know, you know the supplier. But uh, I don't know. With today's flights, it might take you two, three weeks uh, to get it, you know, with everything that's going on right now. So um, but definitely uh, I'd keep it, an eye out on, on Unique Corals uh, website too. See, what, you know, when they grab them, when they have them in stock. Uh, they do have an AC version in stock, and I believe those are still on sale. So if you're not looking for a DC version... You can always grab an AC version, works perfect. I did a video on that. Go back there and check that out. Um, this thing has a, a beautiful um, display unit um, that you use to control it, the controller display. Um, you look at my overview of my system, the first video I did, um, it, I'll show, it shows you the functionality of it and, and how, you know, how you use that uh, controller there. I couldn't pull it off because it's on my uh, controller board and I have it mounted, so I couldn't pull it off today and let you guys see it uh, in the video. But um, definitely, um, like I said, I, I'm still racking my brain and I can't find a negative uh, at all about the skimmer. Like I said, I'm not gonna use any other skimmers. Um, the great white skimmer is definitely the skimmer for me, my go-to skimmer. It may not be for you, but um, definitely well worth the money and the value. So um, yeah, just you know, hit the like and subscribe button if you have any questions. Uh, leave them down in the comments below, and um, I'll definitely answer what I can. Uh, I'm not an expert, but uh, I definitely do know about the skimmer and its workings, and uh, it, it is pretty spectacular. So, then again, uh, yeah, I think again, yeah, there's, there's nothing I can think of bad about this. I'm just trying to give you guys an honest review, and I'm trying to make sure I didn't lose anything in my brain, like any negatives, and I, I just can't give you one. Um, if you're in the market for a skimmer, definitely go out and get it.
I, I wouldn't deter you. I, I won't steer you the wrong way because I use whatever I'm showing you guys on these videos, I use on my system. And I'm not going to use something on my system that's crap and that, that doesn't work. It's a turd. It's a turd. I'm going to tell you it's a turd. Don't get it. So definitely give these guys a try. If you're in the market of skimmer, they have different sizes. They have from, you know, probably 50 gallon tanks all the way up to 500 gallon tank sizes. Um, I don't know all the sizes, but I do know there's different sizes. So um, definitely give them a shot. Give them a shout out. If you do get one, uh, yeah, tell Anthony I said hi. It's on over below. If you get, if you do get an AC version, you grab it from Unique Corals. Yo, give Joe up. Say, tell him I said what's up. Tell him Big Daddy Woo said check it out. So yeah, I mean, I definitely shot with those guys, but they don't pay me to do this again. They don't pay me to do this. They're just cool guys to shot with, man, and they have good products. So again, uh, next week, I'll be doing another video, and I'll, I'll be, the Ecoral Pro is what I'm running on my main system that is the aquarium controller, um, alternative to an Apex. Um, definitely, I'll, I'll give you guys an update on that, my likes and dislikes about it, um, and tell you if it's worth the money. Honestly, give you an honest opinion. Um, is it worth the money? So I'll be doing a couple videos on the Ecoral products because I downstairs on my frag tanks, I'm running the Ecoral light. So that'll be in another video and let you know what dislikes and likes about that. Is it and if it's worth the money? Uh, is it worth you know Apex Ecoral? Again, you guys have a good one. Uh, thank you for watching my channel. Uh, listen to me ramble sometimes and just watch my videos uh, i'll keep bringing them as long as you keep watching them um, if you have any questions again leave them down in the comment section hit that like and subscribe button and you guys have a good one this is big daddy woo woo woo's reef and i'm out